Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Monica AI. Before we start, hurry up and check out these self purchases under this video. Let's get started. So, you might be wondering how to exactly use the Monica AI here. Now, if you're not aware yet, Monica AI is a AI system that you could use for your browser. Now, it has a bunch of things that you could do here. Like, for example, you can use the As Open AI here. They have Im AI Im uh, Image Generator, Chat PDF, AI Detector, YouTube Summary, and a lot more. So, obviously, the app itself has a lot of capabilities and a lot of things that you could actually do. But how to exactly start using it? So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and go to the official website, which is monica.im and just click on the add to Chrome. It's free. Let's go and click on it and you should open up the actual installer or Chrome web store here. Let's go and click on add to Chrome. Now let's go and click on add extension. And once the extension is installed, as you can see, it's going to start installation. You should be able to see the uh, Monica AI here. So as you can see, it's going to open up a new tab, which in this case, you need to follow a few things. So you could actually sign up or log in into your account or create your account via this uh, way. So you could either use your Google account or your email account, which is the manual way here, or you could use your Apple account here. Let's go and choose our Google account here. Continue with Google. And from here, let's go and click on the uh, sign our, our account here. Click on continue to confirm that and once you've confirmed your login or account creation this is what you will be seeing so in here it's going to ask you uh what uh plan are that you want to use for your account so you could go and click on upgrade now or you could go and click on skip so you can either choose uh, yearly or monthly now in this case uh obviously if you get the yearly one it's going to be a one dollar yet uh less so you can go and choose that but for now let's go and click on skip it's going to say boosted productivity. Let's go and click on continue. It's going to ask you what do you do. So for example, I'm going to say I'm a developer. Let's go and choose uh, a few things here. How do you hear about Monica? Let's just say social media. And you can go and click on continue. Now from here, it's going to say Monica is ready to help. Let's get started. Let's go and click on start using Monica. Now, once you've actually uh, logged in into your account and logged in into Monica.im, you should be able to access a few things like, for example, by default, we have Monica. Now, uh, by the way, the chat here, this is Monica, that what we're talking about. So Monica here uh, helps you with a lot of things like this is quite similar to chat GPT. So uh, maybe you can ask them our uh, top recipes uh, for a uh, pie. So let's just type in our uh, recipes for pie. It's going to give you that. You can even like, for example, you can paste a text here. They could actually summarize that for you. They can even translate. So as you can see, there are going to be a lot of things that you can do. Uh, even uh, different tags here, like uh, use. So all, so you could chat with page, AI search, craft artifacts, generate form, and a lot more. So for example, I'm gonna say generate form here. Either survey, quiz, number of questions. So for example, um, survey about pies and you can go and just send this it's going to start creating a form for us so in this case you go and click on it to view the public form here and it's going to give you the form that it just recently created so it does it might take a while uh, to journey depending on what you want as you can see this is the um form that we have you could go and click on publish at the top right here if you want to publish that but yeah so it's going to go back in here now, there are going to be different chats that you can also access here, like DeepSeek V3, DeepSeek R1, Chat GPT 4.0, if you want to use that. And uh, also, we have our image generator. Generator here allows you to generate images, obviously from, obviously, from the name itself. Now, in this case, there are some credit system that you need to take note here. So, you won't be able to unlimited the uh, unlimited you don't have like unlimited amount of credits that you could use for generating images here. So if I'm not mistaken, like you only have like eight credits, that, but depending on your account, uh, that might be uh, different for you. But yeah, so you can generate images here in this page here. So for example, if you want to create a film style here, you go and click on go create. And basically, uh, like any other platform out right there, you need to provide your image description and the amount of generation count. Like if you want to generate two images and the style for it, 
and what model you want to uh, basically uh, use here. Now, again, the, the model here uh, actually helps with the generation process. So, you know, you could go and do your own research for this one. I'm just going to give you an overview of what you could choose here. But yeah, so there are different models that you could choose from. Now, uh, it's not also just limited to images here. You can also generate videos, which again, will use credits in your account. As you can see right now, those are the sample generated images. We have this cute, um, in this case, quiz here and a lot more. So even now, the, in this case, funny ones in here. So yeah, um, in this case, you could go ahead and view a lot of uh, sample generations, which are really beautiful. Now, if you want to generate your own, you could go ahead and click on the appropriate one here. So for example, if you want to uh, let's go and click on image uh, the video or you could use creative effects or text to video so in this case depending on what you want so if you have already seen your image here go ahead and click on image to video but if you want to use text to generate in your videos go ahead and click on it and just describe whatever you want to uh, basically uh, generate here now again there are going to be some presets or settings that you could set here to uh, basically match whatever you want but yeah now next is we have audio here now, audio here allows you to basically uh, uh, AI podcast. So in this case, it allows you to create your podcast. Uh, you could uh, record sound straight text. So in this case, it's like transcription. You also have a local upload, which in this case, uh, you actually have the option to upload your own um, audio here to get um, your transcriptions. Now, also, you have this cover option here, which allows you to view different tools that you might want to use, like uh, smart calendars, chat, PDF. Like, for example, you can get summaries from the PDF that you'll be providing here. Now, also, uh, there are a lot more that you could do here. So, since we actually installed the app for uh, Monica here, as you can see, it is installed here. It's going to uh, pin this one. So in this case, uh, you could actually use that for certain uh, web pages. So just an example, I'm going to go to Gmail. And in here, when we try creating or writing something, as you can compose one, as you can see, Monica AI is going to be visible in here. As you can see, you could use like uh, Monica AI, click, uh, you could go and click on it, control M, and you could access a bunch of tools that we saw before. Like for example, you could write grammar, translate, detect, chat, PDF. Like it looks, it's similar to like an assistant or a secretary, secretary that you could actually use whenever you want. So for example, you could go and click on writing assistant here. So you could tell them what to write. So for example, uh, write a letter about an apology on the delay of a delivery. Now let's go and click on generate. So it's going to generate uh, the best text that we could use here. So in this case, first the subject, the recipient name here, and also the content for it. So, so it's just something really cool. It's already formatted for us. You just need to fill up all the information that I acquire here, like mention any compensation applicable here. Go ahead and do that. So yeah, so this is something really cool. You can even pin this just in case like if you want to move this around, just copy it. But yeah. So yeah, so in this case, that's how you start using Monica AI. Obviously, there are going to be a lot of things uh, that you could use here. You could use the assistant. You could go and press Control M here. You can also have the power up kits, your settings here. You can also use the platform itself. You could go to your official website and do a lot of things. But yeah, so those are the overviews they need to know uh, in how to use the uh, platform here, Monica AI. But that's about it. So, if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.